Hey everyone! In this video I will show you how to create an Android application using only C++ code without using Java. This can be useful if you are developing computationally intensive systems that require maximum performance, such as games. For your convenience, I have created a public repository on GitHub with the finished project, but I recommend that you watch the video until the end, as I explain in detail what each step is taken for. This can be very useful to you in the future. Let's start. First we need to create a project. We will use an empty template. The most voluminous step will be filling out the Android manifest.xml, so let's start with it. We need to add the Android has code uh, equal false parameter to the application tag, so that the program doesn't try to run models that will not be used in the application. This will help speed up startup and avoid runtime errors. If you plan to publish your application on any resources, then I recommend setting the latest version in the target API parameter, since this is a common requirement, but this step is optional. In order to remove all automatic initialization in the project, we need to add the provider tag with the following parameters. Also, in order for everything to work correctly, we will need to add the appropriate dependency to build.gradle, we will use the help of the IDE for this. Now let's add the activity tag, which is a native activity, the Android exported parameter equal true, since we will include the intent filter next. Using the metadata tag, we will specify the name of the shared library containing the entry point. Let's add an intent filter tag to indicate the scope of this activity. Android.intent.action.main means that this activity is the entry point of the application, i.e., when you launch the application, this activity is created. Android.intent.category.launcher means it should appear in the launcher as a top-level application. Now let's go to the build.gradle file, which is located in the app folder. Specify the version of NDK installed on your computer. Specify the latest version of Compile SDK and Target SDK. This is also optional. Add parameters that will indicate that the build will be done using PyCMake. Next, we must specify the path to the file with instructions for the project builder. Now we need to create a GNI folder in the app folder. Let's create the main.cpp file here, where the entry point to the program will be defined. To run the application, we need to include some built-in libraries. You can do this in two ways. I will use the second. Let's include android slash log.h so that we can print messages to the console demonstrating that our application is running. Let's declare a macro in order to make it easier to output logs to the console. Let's create an entry point. It must be written in this form. Create cmakelists.txt in GNI folder. First, we must declare the minimum supported version of CMake in order to indicate the range of functions available in this file. We create a project with the same name that we specified in the metadata tag in the Android manifest. In my case, it's native activity. The add library command works very simply. The first parameter contains the name of the library, then the type of assembly of the library, static or shared, is indicated, and then the files that are included in this library are listed. This line is needed in order to extend the link flux and add the onCreate function directly. Using the file function, we specify the directory where the header and source files of the program will be searched. The globe recurse modifier means that the search will also occur in subfolders in this directory. Native activity CRS is the name of the variable that stores the files we need.
target include directories specifies include directories to use when compiling a given target. Target link libraries is responsible for adding the library to the linker command line. If you use any library but don't specify it for the linker, you will get an undefined reference or unresolved external files error when creating an executable or shared library. As you can see, I didn't have highlighting in the file before. To fix this bug and the project saw your file, select file in the top panel, then add C++ to model and then specify the path to your cmakelist.txt file. We forgot to add a comma. Let's try to run again. In the console you can see our cherished message which means the program is successfully launched. As you can see, everything works well. If you have any errors or questions, then write about it in the comments. We will try to figure it out together. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. All the best!